and get away from your hometown fighting several fights over there. Okay. Uh, how's it feel to be the, the major heavyweight attraction, uh, you know, on the first DAZN USA card? Um, I think it's great. I think it's great. I'm going to go in the right direction. And I feel like the more we play on the head we speak, and, 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 and they see the confidence when I bring the table, they're going to start believing it. You know what I mean? A lot of people didn't believe in Ali when he first started. It, it took a while. A lot of people didn't believe in Floyd Mayweather when he first started. It took a while. And I feel like my career is that no matter what they say, I'm going to keep with it when I do. Is it amazing to you where you are coming from the kickboxing uh, background and, and being in the top 10, top 5 already as a... No, no, I, I, I honestly feel like I should have been here 4 or 5 years ago in some way because, you know, there were emotional issues and fired people, managers, and all kinds of weird stuff. And it's took a lot to do because I learned this, I learned this box that nothing was given to me. I wasn't forced to go to the Olympics and fight my own city. Give me a Olympics match as well as my age day. Hey, made me forgive my question. Um, I got some. Go ahead. Uh, what are you going to be your, um, what's your principal uh, objective? Um, you know what I'm saying, man? It's just a new network. Uh, you know, we got two fights on the table right now. I think after we get these two fights out of the way, we'll do uh, something very different. Right now, they're working on the table like four money the house. And uh, it's kicked up with it, man. They're doing the thing. Right for the press conference and, and to the way. You're known as one of the better uh, mouthpieces in this game and talking your stuff and doing what you do. Um, what are you thinking about what we saw this week earlier with the Wilder and uh, Fury uh, press conferences? There's not something that's overselling because you want to oversell everything that you're fighting. But overacting sometimes is a little too much, you know. I feel like those guys are top athletes. Are they, they can give a little bit, but you can tell when it's a little over, overboard. And I feel like a lot of fans are saying that now. And after I see that, I can, I can see myself. And then five minutes later, they're backstage on the sofa, you know, sharing a popsicle. So I don't know, man. These guys are that's their own thing. Well, um, how do you feel, though, about, um, you know, this fight as far as the importance that it is, that it represents? for Deontay in trying to bring forth the big fight that everybody wants and 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 clearing a path for you to take a step forward in doing so. What's your thoughts on him getting this, this done? Um, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I know it don't put no money in your pocket, yeah, you know, but, December 1st. I mean, it's all right, but, you know, Deontay had his belt over three years. And his first step fight was against Ortiz, and I finally found, you know, Tyson Fury, but I mean, for two years, and of course, you know about it, so 
I'm talking about any champion, I ain't taking a lesson with you. And it probably last 20 years to be on Waller. All the way to our title shot, he's still spoon fed. After he got a title, he was spoon fed until he put on Ortiz. So, like I said, you know, the guy, some guy got a lot of lucky breaks. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. You're also stalking uh, and, and tracking AJ. Uh, what do you think about his performance against Povetkin? Did you see some progression there or anything? Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, every fight, you guys, you know, show those things about yourself. We all know AJ's chin. You know, he fought a smaller, older guy that was able to tag him up but ran out of gas. You know what I mean? Um, kept throwing him one good shot and couldn't recover it. But uh, I say it's one thing we find that a heavyweight that has a good chin never been hurt or drop and comes forward and throws a shitload, three times more punches than him. So uh, it's going to be entertaining to fight when I fight him, but he did what he had to do. And then I, I didn't get the end of that with uh, Adam Mick. I think he's from this region. I know he's fought in this town several times. You no, know, he's, he's Polish, but he's fought. He, he made his pro debut in America. His pro American debut in America in Chicago. Right. He's fought in Chicago uh, a couple times before, as well as Jersey. You know, I, I grew up with him. I began my pro career watching him. So it's an honor to fight him. You know, and hopefully I get to retire. Him. Okay. A quick last one for me. Who did you, you have in the rematch, Canelo or Triple D? Um, honestly, I was in the middle of a, a, a baby. Birthday, birthday party, baby. Basically. Birthday party, and I got to see the first seven rounds. And uh, for the first seven rounds, I had Triple G. I mean, I had Canelo by like six rounds or so. Okay. So then towards the end, point time Triple G picked up the fight. But I seen Triple G backing up for the first time in a long time. That for that long, because he got backed up in the Daddy Jacobs fight, but he was consistently getting backed up by Canelo. So for what I've seen in the couple, of, I ain't seen the whole fight over. But people say me Canelo won, but it could have been a draw too. But uh, I think there's a, a third, a third fight for what I'm hearing. Do you think that he was a victim of his? Own success being that he knocked out a bunch of people and then when it came uh, to the elite. No, that's boxing. You can't be a victim, man. That's in boxing. My trainer told me from the day one, you knock, I was knocking a lot of people out in the amateurs. I'm knocking people on sparring. Like, yo, when you turn pro, you're not going to knock everybody out. You know, it happens. Not everybody's going to follow the game plan, man. John Dupas. I've stopped guys with this tip tap punching them up, this pity patting in the depth sometimes. But John Dupas, I was like sitting on them, sitting on them shots. But the boy didn't want to go home. Everybody going to call off one of those nights. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. No problem, man.